No, not the Alfa Romeo, that's mine. The other one, the Rolls. You mean you get all that from Sick Bunny? Oh, I must admit, Papa has a few other resources. He's in the hotel business. The Majestic in Paris, the Royale in Rome, the Splendid in Vienna, he owns them. Rosalie, oh, we cannot stand around all day like this. We must be hurt. You messed up this sword box again last night, and I'm not going on it. Marco, why don't you start without me? Wait a minute. You are not walking out on me like that. Not without me. Then how? Why don't you wait for me in the hall? I'll change and be right along. Okay, Rosalie, darling. But hurry. Papa is anxious to meet you. I'll be right there. Bye, Hans. Oh, that's Delta. <laughs> oh, I never could keep it straight. You see, we girls at the convent. We never, well, we hardly ever. All right, Marco. Say, Tabby. And what was her lead? She vowed. She threatened. She promised to turn over a new leaf. If only I'd stay. I'm sorry to disappoint you, my little duck. But I am only here to say goodbye and good luck. Oh, Marco, you haven't wished anybody good luck since you put your mama on the Titanic. Uh, <laughs> As a matter of fact, my darling, I was just thinking what a lucky place this is for me. You see, I was thinking of doing a new act, you know, one where that would require a different self of founder. Someone younger with a bit more head. What's wrong with my dad? Someone who could help me play the place I should always have been playing. Really? Oh, Marco, you can't. She's working with Paul. She won't be after I have had a little talk with her. Oh, you won't get away with it. I'll be playing. I'll talk to Jaco. I'll be You better you. hurry, darling. It's a long walk to Zurich. Oh, you dirty, low, miserable. Hey! Come in, Hub. I was just saying, au revoir to my partner. Lily! Mr. Marco! Lily Malvin, it's news, Rosalie. I've gone off to get married. Do <laughs> you know what that means, Lily? Really? That your part of the show is open for you, Lily. For me? Yes, it will be Marco the Magnificent and uh, friend. But I already have a job with Carrot Top and Renardo and... You call that a job? Talking to puppets? Still remember, little darling, you are meant for more than that. Do you remember how miserly I took the cigarette from your ear? That's because you have sensitivity. Rosalie was ordinary. She made me ordinary. But with you to help me, I can play the places I should always have been. Long Paris. Rob, with you to help me, Lily dear. Lily dear? Lily darling. Lily? Really, boy, you choose the most peculiar times. Get out of there, Marco. Who, who could resist an invitation so delightfully phrased? We will continue our discussion later. I'm sorry, Mr. Paul. I meant to come right over, but... I'm ready, tell me what. I just stopped to talk... Stuck with this song. I just stopped to talk to Mr. Marco for a minute and... Stuck with this song. Do it now. Right here? Here. Yes, Mr. Paul. In my ruby mantilla and my black castanet, I yum ticky ticky tum tum. I told you to turn on that line. I'm sorry. I Do forgot. it again. In my ruby mantilla and my... I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Do it again. Maybe if I practiced it by myself... I want you to do it now. Yes, Mr. Paul. In my ruby mantilla... Turn! Don't walk around! I'm trying to! I'm sure you could do it well enough if Mr. Marco were here to help you. It's not that, it's just that I'm a little... Nervous? Yes. And why is our Lily nervous? I'll tell you why. Because of something her lover whispered to her. He didn't whisper anything. He just said I don't that. want to hear what Marco says. Do the song. I can't. Do I have to do everything 
boy, you show you everything. Hold yourself up and turn like this. This is all the Nothing's wrong. I just can't wait for my time. You don't want to learn. You can't wait to get away from me and back to your mark. Let's go with plenty of love and change and kissing like what you want, isn't it?
You got that wrong kid. She was fired. I'm doing the act alone this week, but next week I'm breaking in a new partner. I'll say this one's mine, then. You know that's a hook on. Don't you want to be a star? Marco, I don't know if I like this. The public pays to see you and Rosalie. And they will pay to see me and anybody else. Future Frau Glass, come back to show me your engagement ring, Rosalie. Or maybe the Prince of Bunny Wilhelm gave you as a wedding gift. Wilhelm gone back to Zurich. I turned him down. Ha! Ha! Rosalie, you don't come crawling back all that often. I want to enjoy it. I'm not quite crawling, Mark. Still have they have been a little disillusioned with me, but Papa Glass, he likes not to have an actress in the family. He even made me an autograph of his. He even made me a present of his autograph. That should like your decline in years, Rosalie. Oh, this piece is paid It's not very formal or anything, but if you look closely, you'll see it's a perfectly legal contract for the act. To play in some of those hotels you own. The Royale, the Splendid, the Majesty. Let me see that. Oh, no, no. Rosalie is going to hold on to this. We'll keep her partner in line. By the way, dear, there's a bus from town late tonight. If we catch it, we could be in Rome by tomorrow morning. Now, why don't you try those swords here? And remember what Mama is holding right here next to her heart. So you don't trust me after all these years? You're wasting your time, Marco. But I have always got the contracts. It was like a bond between us. I and now I find that this tie too is broken. You'll have to tell me Lee you won't be able to do the act with her. Too bad, mother. <laughs>
God's affection for me peace in one direction. Must by tonight, you know. You go ahead and pack, and I'll meet you right here after the show. All right, darling. But you better be here. Of course I'll be here, darling. Just go away, you don't belong here. Then where do I belong, Mr. Jacko? Tell me, where? I'm not sure, Lily. But not here, huh? Mr. Marco, Rosalie said you were leaving. I am, but. But you said you were going to take me with you. You said you would. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we take great pleasure in presenting for the first time in our nation. And I will, Lily. has changed for us. We will still work together. Just give me a few days to get rid of Rosalie and I will come back for you. Lizzie you... and her friends! You go with the carnival to Dijon and I will meet you there on Monday. She's not going with you, Marco. Paul, where are you? Of course she's Paul. It's like I told you a long time ago. She loves me. But don't worry, Paul. I'll tell you all about it. Crazy <laughs> exit music! <laughs> you know, Paul, I'd be 
beginning to get the idea that you don't like me. Until Monday. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back next spring. That is the end of our show. That's not too long to wait, is it, Lily? Just till Monday. What would you know about it? How could anybody like you know anything about love? Why don't you tell me about it? I've always wanted to hear about love from a cheap little girl. I hate you! I hate you! You look like a monster! I hate you! everything he tried to tell me anyhow. I've been putting things together in my head all day, Marco. And I know now that I've been living in a little girl's dream. Only seeing what I wanted to see. Not that dreams are bad to have. It's just that there's a time for them to end. Like there's a time for going to school. A time for losing our parents. 
a time for falling in love with a beautiful magician, and a time for waking up. We have to just learn each time to say, this is over. Now go on to the next thing. Who taught you that, Lily? I guess it's something nobody can teach you, Marco. You just grow older, and you know. It's a blue carnation. It could never be real, but it was very beautiful. I can make you a million, Lily. I'll make you a red one. Goodbye, Marco. Oh, goodbye, Dumont. Exchange. 